So this is my property here, Riverside. My grandfather used to own most of this land here. And it was back at the end of 2017, which was the start of that pretty severe drought, is when I decided to give this farming thing a bit of a go. Being an old dairy farm, it had lots of old fences and lots of really, really old infrastructure. So in the last three or four years, what I've basically tried to do is just tidy up the place, which is one of the main reasons why I applied for this makeover project through LLS. I did a holistic management course with Brian Welberg and he was a wealth of knowledge and really piqued my interest in the whole holistic management and obviously managing the whole property as a whole. So from the soil to improve the soil, um, to planting trees, to managing the livestock which then improves everything. I use no pesticides, insecticides, I use no artificial fertiliser or anything like that. So my idea is to, and with the whole rotation of the cattle in smaller paddocks in, in higher density herds for short periods of time with longer rest periods and recovery periods periods is to improve soil health which then brings back I've noticed some of the improvements I've noticed is dung beetles I know in previous years we haven't had anything like that so I can see slow improvements and I know it's a slow process but things like the soil improvement is a big factor for me I've done some rough calculations obviously depending on the season but I could probably sustain 60 maybe 70 head that's spending sort of five days in each paddock, which gives each paddock then a minimum sort of rest period of 90 days. One of the first jobs I did was to actually fence off the river. So none of my cattle do have access to the river purely to improve the water quality and um, to, to plant some more trees, which I've done down along the river. And to help me do that was to put in this header tank up here and have a pump down the river, which pumps to the header tank, which then I gravity feed to troughs. The aid of the troughs and the new fencing going in is to plant lots of trees for shade and um, yeah, to, Im to improve the land and help the stock to, again, keep them off the river and keep them up on the, on the river flats there. So what I've done is I've put a single laneway down the middle. You can sort of see the laneway down the middle. And then off that, I've got all my nice new paddocks and fences that I'm putting in. Um, my idea is to plant more trees along each fence line, sort of going left and right. As we head down this laneway, towards the Hunter River, towards the river. On the left here is the makeover project. Um, and I've st again started some infrastructure, putting in these fence lines, making smaller paddocks. Along these uh, sort of horizontal fence lines is where I'll be planting the trees. On the right side here of, this is my sort of previous project that I've, that I've done. So putting in a couple of troughs here, which was gravity fed from the tank. But as for this um, project I've undertaken in the last sort of 12 months, this is obviously on the left here, a lot of the new gates. Um, and I've sort of planned it and put in lots of gates, again, to make it easy to manage the livestock, be able to handle them nicely. I can be able to uh, rotate them from paddock to paddock. I don't even have to bring them out into the laneway. The idea is, is to have the internal gates so they can go from one paddock to the next. So now we're entering my riparian zone, as I like to call it, which is down on the river here, down on the Hunter River. Locking out the livestock um, and not allowing them access down to the river here, it's improved the trees and just the native trees on the river. So a lot of these casuarina trees and have, have come back. Um, I've got a lot of new little casuarina trees that are, that are growing also, which is pretty cool to see. Planted over, I think around 300 odd trees. I've had a fairly good success rate of around 75 to 80 percent. So most of the trees you see along here and behind me have have survived, and they're going quite well. And I only planted them probably yeah three and a half, th three to three and a half years ago. Local land services has been a huge help in the last, uh, pretty much ever since I started. So yeah, I do encourage anyone to get in contact with the local land services office or um, speak to yeah one of the local land services people. And um, again, they're a wealth of knowledge and they've d certainly helped me in a good direction moving forward to you know future drought proofing and even um, stock planning and property planning. Again, I encourage anyone to get in contact with the local land services.